Okay, today we're going to work on combining probabilities. Yesterday was a review of basic probabilities. Today we're going to move into combining probabilities. So to begin, we're going to start out with some simple definitions. Um, first definition is what you have, what's called independent events. And what it means is you have two events where the fact that the first event has occurred does not have an impact on the second event. So, so if you wanted to find the probability that both of these events occurred at the same time, or both of these events occurred, you would just take the probability of A and multiply it by the probability of B. Again, you assume that the first event has no effect on the second event. So those are called, that's what you call independent events. All right, so some quick exa examples. Now, we're not finding probabilities. We're just trying to determine whether these events are independent. So let's say we, we toss a coin twice, and we'll, we call it a fair coin, meaning it's not loaded either on heads, on head side, or the tail side. That's what you call a fair coin. So the two events you have, the first toss is a head, and the second toss is a head. Again, the coin is fair, so that means that after your first toss, that has no impact on the second toss. So this will, will be called an independent event. All right, so example B, you've got two events. The first event is it will rain tomorrow in, in Houston. The second event is it will rain tomorrow in Galveston, a city near Houston. Um, now, just because it's raining in Houston doesn't mean it's raining in Galveston. So, again, this is what you call independent. So the events are independent. All right, and C, you draw a card from a standard deck. Then you draw a second card without replacing the first card. Okay, so in the standard deck, you know, let's say you're looking for the uh, four of diamonds, right? That's that's probability of finding the four of diamonds is one out of 52. You don't put the card back, and then you want to find a ten of clubs, all right? So let's say this is probabilities drawing a four of diamonds, all right? And then your second event would be the probability 10 of clubs. All right. So in this case, the probability will be 1 out of 51 because we didn't place the card back into the deck. So this is what you call dependent events because the fact that you didn't put that card back into that deck it affected the probability of drawing that 10 of clubs. So that's the distinction between independent and dependent event. So now let's work an example. Okay, we got in a, in a draw, we have 10 pairs of socks, six of which are white, and seven t-shirts, three of which are white. If you reach in and randomly grab a pair of socks and a t-shirt, what is the probability you grab a white shirt and white socks? So, so we're going to write this as two separate probabilities. So the probability of white socks and we want the probability A white shirt. Those are your two events. Okay, notice one event doesn't, doesn't have an effect on the other. So these are independent events. So we have 10 pairs of socks, six of which are white. So we're going to simplify that. So the probability of 
selecting or, or drawing out or grabbing, I guess in this case, a white pair of socks is actually three fifths. With respect to t-shirts, okay, we've got seven shirts in total, three of which are white, so the probability of, of grabbing a white t-shirt is three out of seven. So now, the probability of both of these events, so white socks and a white t-shirt, you just take your probabilities and you multiply three-fifths times three-sevenths. And that's nine thirty fifths. Okay, now again, as I said in the previous lesson, if that if you're being asked to represent the probability as a fraction, you're done. Otherwise you can convert it to a decimal, to whatever specified number of decimal places, or a percent. Okay. Alright, so second example. We roll a fair six-sided die. Now, first, let me explain. A die, that's a single. We're used to saying dice, which is plural. Uh, so dice is plural. All right, so that's two or more. Okay. Die is single or singular, I guess you would say. All right, so we roll a six-sided die twice. What is the probability that you roll two ones? So probability of rolling a one. And we've got probability of rolling a one again. Okay, so the first time you roll that die, it's only one, one on a, on a die. That's six possible or, or six sided. Second time you roll, probability is one out of six. So the probability that both rolls are one is one out of six times one out of six, which is one out of thirty six. Okay, and again, depending on the question, provide the answer in the form that that's being requested. All right, so now, third example. What is the probability that you roll an even number and then a five? So again, keywords and, so we've got probability. Now, we're still talking about a, a single-sided die. Not a single sided die. A fair a fair six sided die. It's probably a rolling an even number. All right, there's three even numbers on it on a die. That's six possible outcomes. Go ahead and simplify. So probability of rolling an even number is one half. Probability of rolling a five. That's one out of six. So now these are both Independent events, so probability of rolling an even number and a five. You multiply a half and a sixth, that's one twelfth. Okay, so that's combining probability. 